Hey, you. Yeah, you, Mr. Pumpkin Spice Latte. We need to talk. I think it's time for a time out. For a while, you were just a gross novelty, a movie of the week. But now you're worse than the McRib and twice as foul. You. You started the pumpkin spice revolution that forcibly takes over our culture, this time every year. When the Starbucks overlords roll you out, entire sororities spontaneously convert to sugar rehab centers. And Trader Joe's becomes ground zero for pumpkin spice Armageddon. I know you inside now, oh wretched pumpkin spice latte. You who taste less like pumpkin and more like liquefied plastic Halloween pumpkin buckets. You're just a basic latte with one new ingredient. 700 milligrams of despair. It's your fault that pumpkin spice is no longer a comforting blend of cinnamon and nutmeg and whatnot, putting the distinctive warming flavors of autumn delicately on our tongues. You've become a product of chemical factory high fructose witchcraft, an omnipresent artificially flavored god. The evil pumpkin spice PR marketing brainwashers have convinced us we need limited edition artisanal pumpkin spice cheesecake enchiladas to properly maintain our pumpkin spice lifestyles. Or pumpkin spice chicken sausage, pumpkin spice craft moonshine, pumpkin spice hookah tobacco, pumpkin spice body butter, pumpkin spice kitty litter. If you thought the vile marshmallow peep couldn't get any more disgusting, well guess what? It just did. And now, pumpkin spice, you're even in our beer. You're in our beer! Get out of our beer! <sighs> I know it's a cliche to hate on pumpkin spice. That's only because cliches are rooted in truth. And the truth is, you're making the heavily sugared and caffeinated masses hashtag pumpkin spice and latte selfie themselves into oblivion. Now you think about what you've done. I'll go have a word with the Christmas tree already on display at the mall. <laughs>